Hi everybody, my name is Rina. My name is Chengna. My name is Dong Shu. And we're here today to make advisements to TEPCO about what they should do in this crisis situation. Our first overarching strategy is to take action. We want to focus on taking action over making st statements constantly through the media. Um, these are our key stakeholders. The first is government agents and regulators, local residents, Employees, which we've separated into two categories, the general employees and the employee workers who are rescue workers at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. We have the mass media bloggers and environmental groups all combined into one to give them one key message, and the inter international communities. My main recommendation for government regulators is to partner with them to find a solution as quickly as possible. We want to have one voice, we want to be consistent with our messaging, and we want voices from TEPCO, nuclear regulation committees, and the government. We, we would do this by making all these different entities a part of our crisis communication team. My recommendations to communicate with the local residents is to make sure that we show compassion. We want to reassure them with their actions, with all of our actions, give them as much information as possible, and be human and compassionate. We would do this through visiting them at their homes, visiting evacuated guests and where they're staying now, and ensuring them of a good future with jobs, education, and a good plan as to when they can return back to where they were evacuated from. Our third stakeholder is the employees, and we want to arouse their loyalty into the company. We want to separate the employees into two parts. First one is the general employees, and second one is the rescue workers. For the first part of employees, we want to send two key messages to them. First one is encourage, and second one is involve. By doing this, we want to ask CEO to have a CEO tour into the office, to have a short conversation with the officers, to let them stay with the company together to go through this hard time. And we also want to get them the timely information by sending the newsletter every day. For the second part of employees, the rescue workers who's working on the nuclear plant, we have two messages to them. First one is to reassure their security and second one is to appreciate their devotion. By doing this, we will ask the CEO and some top managers to go to the nuclear plant to give them as much information as they can and give them some information about health care, family care to make them feel safe to do their work. And secondly, we will bring some news to the nuclear plant to let them know their brief behavior is already broadcasting. And we will also bring some facilities to them to let them can communicate with their families. So our recommendations to mass media, bloggers, as well as environmental groups are to be transparent, to give them as much information as possible. We shift our focus from statements to actions such as conversations, meetings, financial decisions, as well as solutions. We will do this by distributing press releases and holding press conferences to show our actions. Our last recommendation is to the international communities. We will keep them informed about the radiation levels and have an open communication to maintain good relationships which will help us in the future in case we need aid. We will do this by selecting an English-speaking spokesperson who can be clearly and correctly understood around the world. We will also reduce jargons and keep our messages simple. Keeping all of this in mind, it's very important for TEPCO to keep taking action and to put health and safety at first place and to be transparent and accurate. Thank you.